Hello everyone, welcome to episode 24 of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP. So, uh, before, well, before I get into the thick of it, uh, I just want to show my levels and whatnot. So I leveled up a lot of people. You'll notice that Kilia and all the others are in the capture squad right now. And that's because, uh, because they're very large stats, they're able to capture a lot of people. So I actually, uh, went into the item world of Durandal, which pops out level, uh, 200 people easily. Uh, I just went in there, captured them to get through the levels instead of killing them. Although I did kill some of them, which is why their levels went up, and because I had the XP at, like, 280%. And it's on the innocent route, so I was using it to also farm for a statistician, manager, mentor, innocent. So I'll just uh, show the farm right now. Uh, innocent farm, deliver retrieve. So you'll notice that there are a lot more spaces on the right. Uh, that's because I upgraded the squad, which opened up more spots. And right now I just have the two statisticians in there. I'm not sure if you need two to make a baby, or if you can just have one and it'll just continuously spawn, but I'm not sure. So I just felt more comfortable having two in there. Um, so I've just been using Durandal to uh, uh, subdue in a sense and put them in there. So uh, now I'll go into the squads and show you. So you'll notice that all the squad levels are pretty high for the most part. Uh, capture squad is at full. Interrogation squad is at full. Innocent aid squad is not. But this is the one that I'm trying to get to full because it'll increase the birth rate. Uh, skill training... Uh, this replaces the mentor system, I believe, uh, from the past games, where, or it just enhances it, where, uh, the leader, uh, you assign someone to be the leader and all the squad members can use the skills of the leader, and then if they use, I believe it's only generic skills, I don't think it's special skills, I believe that if you, uh, use the skill enough to level up, you get to keep it, and then... Uh, as you level up the squad, the acquired skill levels up faster. Um, so then boot camp squad, channeling squad. I just got the channeling squad up to level 5 to have it be the max amount of percentage. Didn't do anything with these guys. Hunter team, I got all the way up uh, because it now doubles the innocence growth when subdued, which makes it a lot easier to do uh, stuff in. I may... Uh, if I... I may just try and bump the number of squad members, like just sacrifice people into there to get it up to like 100 or whatnot, because uh, if it makes people spawn more from the level one, it might just be useful. Didn't do anything here, here, here. The Dark Assembly squad, I got the squad limit uh, plus and the have the cost. Uh, now I just need to get the last one so everyone will vote I, and then I'll probably just uh, solicit some people to be on my team and then I'll just uh, pop them all in there um, and then yeah so I have done most of the squad stuff so until we get new squads uh, I'm not too worried and there has been some research uh, going on so right now those are ones that I recently put in but we have all these yeah so uh, I'm not sure how many we're going to be able to get to. I may have to start deleting some from the Netherworld Index. Like, uh, like I'm gonna delete a few of these because they're low level, so I'm never gonna do them again. Uh, I am gonna keep, like, the ones that have, like, the, uh, for, like, I just like these ones better because I believe these are story-based ones. These aren't, like, network ones. Um, of course, if they're higher level, then I'll probably keep them. you know, if they're in use, but, uh, yes, okay, so now the list isn't as terribly long, um, so, uh, and you can see up in the right that there's the duration of 50 days, so you can see that I have gone quite a few, uh, done some stuff. Uh, my mana isn't all that different than I left it because that I was only getting like 50% when I was going through everything. Uh, but I have since changed the uh, 
the amount because we're going to be doing story maps uh, with lower level people, so they're not going to be giving as much XP. So I just figured, hey, let's like even everything out except for money because I don't really need money. I'm not buying all that much, honestly. The only time I ever buy stuff is when I'm going through the item world and I get to the rest level and there's a there's like that item's uh, shop. So before we go anywhere, let's save. And I did go into the Kara world and increase Usalia's movement again by one. Just because that's always a good thing. I wasn't sure whether I could or not, because I, I couldn't remember how many times I upgraded her movement. But that's always the one I go to first. So, And if you can't, it just says, hey, you can't move anymore. So. Ah, oh, shit. I put it I put it in Japanese again. So, uh, here, here, here's some more Japanese audio. Sorry about that. Uh, the reason why I put it in Japanese is because uh, one of the online fixes that they said was, which may have been patched out, I'm not sure, I just do it for, I guess, good luck, because uh, it did crash on me uh, while I was in the item world, and it crashed on me on the boss level, which was really annoying, because that's like the worst possible point it could have crashed. And I captured so many people, I subdued so many innocents, and I was really pissed. But, uh, uh, this kind of annoying because, uh, but, uh, uh, one of the online fixes was like, oh, put the audio in Japanese. Uh, ponchos. Um, if I'm able to redo this cutscene, I will I'll put it in English, and then I'll go into like the cutscene dude in the pocket netherworld, and uh, I'll play it. Because, as you can see, I'm talking over this one, because like, you, can hear, you can hear them, but the words, like, you have to read it to understand what they're saying. So it's... <laughs> so Red Magnus is like, yo, I thought you guys all died because uh, Majorita came and destroyed everybody. But, and he's like, oh, why didn't you come see me? But... <laughs> but uh, it seems that Red Magnus's peeps aren't really happy. And as you uh, you might remember Seraphina describing this Netherworld as a uh, like a den of sweaty, muscly dudes. <laughs> uh, but there are w there are some women too. Uh, but it just makes sense that you have like the wrestlers as like the main people here. But now their uh, uh, Red Magnus's old uh, subordinates are now willing members of the Lost. But, uh, yeah, the online thing was like, put in Japanese audio, it, it'll stop the item world crashes. It doesn't. Um, I also always turn off the effects uh, and whatnot in the... Uh, the... Like, all the battle effects, just to get it go faster, hope it like, because I'm thinking maybe it's like an overload of stuff, it's just like, yeah, can't handle all this. Although it should be able to, like, it's not, like, other Switch games are completely fine with a lot of in different, like, inputs and whatnot. And this, and this game, compared to a lot of other games, should not be, like, taxing to the system. And like, I understand, the Switch is weaker than other systems this generation, the PS4 and the Xbox, but uh, but it's still able to handle really impressive games like Breath of the Wild. I have to imagine has a lot more taxing on this console uh, than others, and apparently it's just like, I guess it's just like NIS America's like porting, like apparently the. PS Vita games weren't that, like, stable, and D2 apparently wasn't all that stable. I mean, in those games, I never experienced crashes, 
The Switch version of the Sky 5 is the only time I've uh, ever experienced a Disguise game that crashes. So I guess I got lucky, or I'm just getting. Or I'm just evening out on my luckiness with <laughs> this unlock. But, uh, as you can see, Scorching Flame has like all this fire, air, gas, lavaness. And it has a lot of platforms with holes in it. So it it makes use of a lot of throwing. Uh, unless you want to take a long, windy walking path. But, uh, that's not the way I roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Christo be the base of the tower. Because he's just a better base. Because he's not the strongest. Killia. You know what? I can use Peta. Because Peta still hasn't broken 100. Along with Pram. Or this magical printing. But I can't really throw the magical printing. Um, okay. So that should be good enough. Um, yeah. Okay, so now everyone is all across the map, and we'll be able to just demolish now. And wrestlers seem to be the only, like, uh, characters that have the AI of throwing, which makes sense, because that's sort of a thing. But I've, they're the only characters that I have seen that uses that type of AI. Okay. So, Gigastar. Wow. I'm surprised. You guys... You guys... Wow, you're just not strong. Which, I guess makes sense. You don't have all the best equipment and whatnot. So I don't really blame you. Um... I would. Like, uh, you can see right here, like, I'm almost guaranteed to get all these guys if I were to capture them. Which I'm not going to. Uh, I'd prefer to, uh, kill them while I'm here. Not for levels or whatnot, but because, you know, I'm playing through this. And surprisingly, these guys have decently high defense. I'm honestly surprised at how well these guys are doing. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw Seraphine over. Because her having range is very good for stuff like this. thought she had been lined up, but unfortunately there are certain maps where the elevation makes it like, oh, I'm in the same line. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> but this map is relatively quick, especially when you have super high level people. Uh, let's... And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and... I'll show some combo moves. Um, need to go to settings. I just turn them all on. And I'll turn language to English right now. Uh, that way I don't have to do the back one. So she doesn't have any combo moves, but he does with Serafina. So do Supreme Curry, and she can do the... Ooh, I could do this. But you know what, let's let's get some Killia and uh, Serafina action. Just uh, attack him from the back. No, and Let's turn go. Him. So, with Usalia, like everything is about curry. <laughs> Lands head first into a pot of curry and eats it all. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> you okay is a very apt. Thing to ask after that. So, you get to see a lot of hard stuff and punching. And every, and as you would expect, everything gets like super ridiculous and all cool. 
a lot of sound colors. <laughs> Snuff bow. You okay? And the super thug guys on the right. And four surrenders, which is good. They escaped. That's the only thing they're good at. You're one to talk. S stop it, sis. I've changed. You stop it. I told you not to call me sis. Call me Madam Serafina. Weren't those guys Red Magnus' underlings? Yeah. I see. It's so sad to have to fight your underlings, Plip. Th that's nothing. Red Magnus had to knock his underlings around all the time in the past. Can you explain it to me then? What led them to act like this? <laughs> the Supreme One doesn't know. They probably begged for their lives when the Lost destroyed this netherworld. It's a disgrace for a demon of scorching flame to act like that! They look like they held a lot of malice toward you. Do you have any idea why? As Red Magnus said, he doesn't know! Why don't you ask them directly? He's a helpless musclehead. He doesn't know how to keep his servants in line. He's a failure of an overlord. What did you say, Sarah? Red Magnus dares you to say it again! My, are you going to pick a fight with me now? Stop it. Anyway, Red Magnus, are you sure you can fight your former allies? Of course! They aren't the Supreme One's underlings anymore, so he can super beat all their candy asses! I see. What's with that? What are you trying to say, Kilia? Look, it's fine. If we just ignore them, they'll come to seek us out. We'll simply ask them then. They might not have a choice either. <laughs> Red Magnus doesn't have anything to talk to those jabronis about. So you get a little look into Red Magnus not especially caring about what is uh, uh, his past uh, subordinates do or care about. He's just like, oh, how dare they, whatnot. I'll beat him up. Uh, let's see if I can access the memories. Uh, some events you want to look back or skip by accident, or you can watch them here. We welcome unique people. Who, okay, cool. Cool. Um, so I don't want CG image viewer, although some of them are cool. Um, skit viewer. I guess I missed a couple. Oh, these skits are, uh... Okay, those skits are the whatnots. Okay. Irritating Red Magnus? Is this what I'm looking for? They escaped. That's the only nope. thing they're good at. That's not. Reuniting with an apprentice? So this is Scorching Flame. Yes. Looks like it's been wrecked pretty bad. It looks terrible, Flip. I can't even tell what it used to look like. I can't believe some imbecile could have been taking a nap while all of this destruction was happening. Sh shut your mouths! Let's just find that magical spear and destroy it! Yeah, that's what I intend to do. But doesn't look like that's gonna be easy. The Lost are here! The newly coronated Overlord Zorokin will take care of you! I was wondering who was out here. So it's you, Red Magnus. It's been a while. Red Magnus! You have friends among the Lost, Flip? No! It can't be! It is I, Ponchos! But Ponchos?! Come on. Don't tell me you forgot all of us who've worked so hard for this netherworld. 
That means... Are the lost soldiers that are here Red Magnus' underlings that he thought were dead? My, is that so? No wonder they look all filthy and sweaty. You... you guys! You're alive?! Damn it! If you guys were alive, why didn't you all come straight to me? Ha 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 You're pretty optimistic, Red Magnus. Kill him. Whoa! Hey! What do you think you guys are doing? Don't you get it? We're part of the loss now. No one here works for you anymore. We're all members of the Lost Army, under orders to eliminate the rebels. Ponchos, you! If this is all a joke, you're taking it too far! This netherworld was destroyed, but you haven't changed one bit. Well, since it's you, we don't mind taking all of our hatred that's built up over the years out on you. We get to beat the crap out of you, plus... We'll get a bonus. We really made the right decision by joining the Lost. Huh. You sure talk a big game for a janitor, Ponchos. Let's see if you can back it up. You're not the Overlord anymore. Just bring it. Red Magnus is going to take your new gumption, shine it up, turn it sideways, and stick it straight up your candy ass. How revolting! Couldn't you come up with anything more hygienic to say? Right? Let's see. Um, I don't think we have to discuss this right now. Red Magnus has completely lost it. He can't make any rational decisions. We gotta help him. Okay, so that was the cutscene that we had seen in Japanese. So, <laughs> I do like how, of course, the dude named Ponchos is Mexican. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just gotta give him a Mexican accent. At least I think that was a Mexican accent. If it wasn't, then I don't know what one sounds like. Um, okay, so... Unfortunately, I have a few of those skits that I did not get to do because I probably just didn't proc them correctly, or I proc them, or I just went into another map immediately, like an idiot, but whatever. Scorching Flame aside, we can't ignore the problems caused by the Lost. So now, just thinking about all the Netherworlds, because they didn't, uh, they didn't specify how many Netherworlds were hit by, uh, the spheres, or not the spheres, the spears, spears, not spear, spears, the spear, but deers. But because even though it only showed him summoning like eight, I think, I I think it's safe to assume that there are probably more than that. Uh, Void Dark uh, doesn't give uh, orders to every small unit. So Demon General's fault. Nah, commanders of the units, if they fail, they'll be executed. That's why the commanders try so hard. So now they're just talking about uh, the inner workings of the Lost. And uh, how it's like Void Dark is the leader, and then the Demon Generals are like the sub leaders. But it's really the commanders of all the individual ones that go to all the nether worlds that are kind of really the problem. Because if they don't do good, they will die themselves. Uh, full of guys who can't help but brag about their evil doings. For example, how they took candy from a baby or vandalized their neighbor's house by spray painting the Lost Raider. So, <laughs> bragging about like minor crimes. <laughs> and coming, just like, oh yeah, there's all sorts of people. Um, okay, so let's go interrogate some people. You shit. Like, you shit. You. You, the people you, that just uh, uh, interrogated, like right at the beginning, were ones that I'd already been working on. <laughs> um, these are the ones I can solicit. Um, yeah, I'm going to. 
I'm gonna make these guys my allies just so I can put them in the uh, awesome. put them in the voting squad. Cause I'm never gonna use them otherwise. Assembly squad. Vic, Yuri, Yuri. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. One of the cool things is like sending people out on uh, missions and whatnot actually levels them up. Which makes sense, because they are, like, taking damage and stuff. Uh, is that all? Oh, wow, I have a lot more, but... Um... This is more it. people to interrogate. Prisoner list. Uh, I guess... I don't know why I can't make these guys my... I can extract from them. And it didn't look awesome. like I could put them into my squads unless I never checked. No, oh, no, I totally can. Um, I'm just gonna drop them in there. Uh, it feels nice to have finally reached like a point where I'm able to just easily grind out uh, Why would you like enemies to, go, dude? to capture. I will show the level 3 capture skill in this next map, because I just realized, oh yeah, they haven't seen it, because I've only been using it off-screen in the item world. You Red Magnus! I was getting tired of waiting! Let Red Magnus ask you before he super, super beats the crap out of you! Why did you join the Lost?! Whenever Red Magnus asks you for anything, you super gladly helped out! So why? Huh? Did you say... super... gladly? Oh, uh, seriously? Your eyes must just be for show, you don't see anything! What... what did you say?! We were tired of your selfishness from the bottoms of our hearts! You were selfish, and didn't have any awareness as an overlord. You used violence to crush all of our opinions, and we were sick of it. You! Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, oh, see? There you go again. You always just raise your fist and threaten us. I'm surprised you guys took this self-centered overlord in as an ally. I'm so touched. He's gonna make me cry. You are completely right. You know exactly how I feel. S Serafina, isn't this the part where you're supposed to lie and take your ally's side? Red Magnus isn't that type of demon! Don't you dare look down on him, Blip! Yes, exactly. That's precisely what I'm talking about. Little Usa, you're taking my side? I see. So the reason they joined the Lost was because of the malicious feelings they developed thanks to Red Magnus's selfishness. <laughs> malicious feelings? Don't try to rationalize all of this that easily. Do you know what that fool was doing while we were risking our lives to save this netherworld? Taking a nap! A nap! This moron was taking a nap while his netherworld burned to the ground! Red Magnus, the only option you have left to make it up to them is to die, Blip! <laughs> Goodbye. I'll never forget you, Blip. Hello, Usa! Are you giving up on the Supreme One? It's what you deserve. You have zero qualifications of being an overlord. You are all true demons. Well, it can't be helped. He was taking a nap while his netherworld was being destroyed. Shut your mouth, kid! We have heard that many have joined the Lost because they feared Void Dark. But we're different. We chose to join the Lost. Don't you think it's stupid to protect the netherworld on behalf of a good-for-nothing overlord? So what do you think, Red Magnus? These are our true feelings. Now do you understand? This 
Listen up, punch slows! Don't go thinking you can run your mouth and just walk on out of here! Red Magnus is gonna super kill you! Hey, looks like the fool wants to have some fun. Take all your anger and stress out on him and make him pay for what he's done. Are you jabronis? Trying to piss Red Magnus off even more than usual? Okay, so we got to see some more ponchos and more describing of how inept Red Magnus is at, like, the one thing he was supposed to do. Um, ah, and this is no entry, so basically what this does is it cuts you off from, like, just doing a quick hop, skip, and a jump out of here. Although I guess if you had a really long range move, like a very strong magic move that you leveled up super high, you could do it. But I'm not too worried. Basically what you're supposed to do is go all the way around, get this thing, plop this, put it over there, and kill it with like a really short ranged move. And then that gets rid of all this. Well, this specifically. And then you can easily do it. Let's go! So once again, it is time for the Tower it's of Destiny. Oh, nope, did not want that. Um, yeah. Here I go. But I think this uh, primarily is one of the hmm. like the, this world arc and whatnot is primarily one of the reasons why Red Magnus is, like, one of my least favorite characters. He's, like, he's almost annoying in the way in which he just doesn't get it. Like, it really shows just how much of, a, like, a true asshole he is. It's just like, okay, you can understand, like, oh, Red Magnus just wants to be the strongest. Like, he's... Hmm. He's like going through it all and whatnot. He, he says what he wants. And like, he says what he means. He's straight up, he just likes fighting. That's sort of to be expected in, like, with demons and whatnot. But then you, like, find out, like, okay. So he's he's done all that. And then once he's, like, confronted with his mistakes, he just doesn't accept it. He's just kind of a shithead. And. Like, he's clearly presented with why his underlings don't like him. And he just goes back to the same ways in which uh, he... It, it's just super annoying, honestly. Like, I didn't really like Red Magnus in the first place anyway. Just because he was super loud and his entire thing was just kind of being... Like, oh, I'm a strong man and whatnot, and I want to be the strongest, which isn't bad. Like, why wouldn't you want to be the strongest? Being the strongest is pretty cool. But when it gets to the point where you're confronted with all the things that make you wrong and why the problems you're having, and you find out that he's rather inept at the stuff he does, it's just like, why would I like this character? He's, he's an idiot. Like, I don't I don't want to like him. And I don't. So that, that's my little spiel on Red Magnus. Uh, yeah. I'll just show the capture skill right there. And I think it's like my feelings on Red Magnus and why I don't really care about leveling him up whatsoever. It's just like, oh yeah, he can... He can be weak forever. I don't care. For all, of, for all intents and purposes, you are a useless character to me. What's in this quick? So capture skill three brings it up a notch from an underground bear trap type thing to a UFO that does a three by three square in front of you, which is really nice because now you get range on it and you get a uh... range is always good, but uh. So it makes it so you, now I can like cross gaps and stuff to get people in the item world. Because everyone knows the item world just loves giving you gaps. Like they just absolutely adore. Elchi Clair. 
they adore giving you things where it's just like, oh yeah, like now you can, uh... Oh, I, I, it's, it's hard for me to uh, vocalize what I mean. They just, they give a lot of gaps. Like, oh yeah, like we'll have islands everywhere for you to deal with. I'm surprised. Um, didn't think he was actually going to kill that guy. Um, I'll switch that. There. Uh, Omega Ice, I guess. I'm gonna eat you, dude. Don't remember. Yeah, we've seen that. And where is the last one of you guys? Ah, there. I was like, where's, where, where's the last person? I don't, I don't remember seeing them. Thought maybe they're hidden. Nope, literally right in front of, uh, right in front of Zeta. So with my super high level team, with great uh, equipment, well, at least Killia has great equipment. Damn, damn, damn! Red Magnus needs to wreck more shit, or he won't be able to calm down. Ponchos, I will super never forgive you! Red Magnus, all leaders are plagued with a number of disgruntled underlings. Some more than others. And to handle that in a responsible way is part of being an overlord, don't you think? Shut your mouth, little Sisto! Red Magnus won't be satisfied until he lays the crackdown on everyone who's pissing him off! Ponchos! Red Magnus is gonna find your candy ass and kick it all the way down Piss Me Off Boulevard! Red Magnus. That monkey has forgotten all about why we came here in the first place. Sir Kilia, you shouldn't bother trying to reason with that muscle head. Let us simply go destroy that magical spear. The thought of saving him never crossed my mind, but I can't just leave him like that. Just like I was saved in the past. Can I be like Lisa Rhoda? What's wrong, Sir Kilia? I think he might just need someone to meddle with him. Wait! Sir Kilia! Oh, Sir Kilia, you are mine, but you never listen to me. Hey, sis, did Bro say something strange? About meddling? Somebody probably meddled with Kilia in the past, which changed his life around. It must have been Goldion Flip! Believe it or not, I'm betting it was a girl. What? Come on, sis! If even I can't seduce Sir Kilia, why would you think some hussy could grab his attention? Do you want me to shoot you to death? Why did Serafina get so serious all of a sudden, Flip? I'm not sure. The innocent heart of a temptress is most complex indeed. Ah, so you get to see that Lise's full name is Lisa Rhoda. Ooh, new Netherworlds. Awesome. Full name Let's is Lisa Rhoda. Fix you up. Uh, and it's just like, I don't plan on saving the Red Magnus. I'm not going to actively try and change him. I'm just going to meddle with him. <laughs> just going to be like, eh, yo, what's up, man? Just going to meddle with you. Uh, and then you see that, like, Seraphina gets a really, like, jealous defensive when the thought of, like, there is another girl in Kilia's life at some point, like, that really just struck him. Because one of the things about demons is they have really long lives. So, uh, one of the main things in Disgaea 1 was, uh, the main three squads were all like, yo, like, how old are you? Like, the main character was like, oh yeah, I'm like, 12,000 whatnot. And, uh, and you're like, wait, 12,000 years old or like 1,200 or something like that. And it, you realize, like, oh, like, for their age, it's like, measured in the thousands, and they only, like, look older and older, like, every, like, 100,000 years. Not hundred thousand, every hundred or a thousand, I can't remember correctly. But it's like, oh yeah, like, this character says it, then this character's like, pretty close to that, and then the next one is like, a thousand years older than both of them. And it's like, huh. 
Okay. But that's just a demon and angel thing, whereas humans just have normal human lifespans. Um, what? So let's, let's go in here, see how the research is going. Okay, so why is Metal Sludge still at... We're still at zero. Um, how are my members looking? Uh, progress support. Yeah, we've, it's going fine. It's just, I guess this one takes a lot of time. Okay, well, whatever. Doesn't matter all that much. So, let's save once again. And do this conversation. So, anyway, how hot is Scorching Flame? So, you have to use property. So, uh, <laughs> now we're just talking about that. They're just having, like, uh, health talks and whatnot. I'll be, be aware. Yeah, so this is just like the temptress talk. So, because Isalia, for some reason, has, uh, I don't know, an idolization of Serafina, where it's like, oh, I want to be a temptress as well. Where it's like, ah, you don't have to be. <laughs> You know, you don't need to be. You're pretty good yourself. I mean, you both have about bun. You both have bunny ears now. So I mean, you're pretty close. Uh, possible to surpass her. I mean, I'd say that's pretty true. Yeah, because she has the Baylor gaze, which means she has the perfect temptress power. <laughs> and then the yellow printy is like, oh, I guess I can't be a temptress either. How to make a handsome pretty mind. That seems good. <laughs> but a handsome pretty, do they really exist? Yeah, that is interesting, because when you think like, okay, so demons can feel affection and whatnot. Prinnies are also demons. So as we have found out, there are both male and female prinnies. So I guess there's some way of telling if there's like a handsome one or not like it's really it's really odd when you think about it. like wow they all look exactly the same this is it. Um, that's the interrogation a few people i just like to take care of the interrogation every time possible because say they resist it and leave it at like one health it's like okay well next time i have more prisoners i can come in and just finish you off real quick uh, Where would you like to go, guide and we'll do this map And I think, uh, decrease fire resist by 50%. So, I get... Ah, I don't know why Scorching Netherworld would have that out. Imagine it would be, like, decreased uh, uh, water resist. If anything. Bonchos! Where are you hiding? Damn it! Come out and show yourself! Wait, Red Magnus. You need to calm down a little. Shut your mouth! And stay back! Everything is so freaking annoying! I'll have to beat everyone up! Stay out of this, Kilia! Get out of the way! I said to calm down. While you're rampaging around, that magical spear is absorbing this netherworld's power. At this rate, it might already be too late. Are you okay with that, Red Magnus, Overlord of Scorching Flame? Like Sir Kilia said, could you refrain from getting us involved with your personal matters? But I can't get a hold of myself! My insides are bubbling up like magma that's about to erupt at any moment! There are countless things in life that Red Magnus can't stand! But this is one of them that he can't let go! Red Magnus. Red Magnus was really glad that Ponchos and the others were still alive! He thought they all died a long time ago! He wanted to beat the snot out of Void Dark, not to become the strongest overlord, but to get revenge for all his underlings that Void Dark killed! But. but. 
Those guys stomped all over Red Magnus's feelings! Yeah, that's right! I can't let them get away with that! Red Magnus... Is that true? Weren't you the one who betrayed them in the first place? What did you say? I'm sure they honored, respected, and trusted you in the beginning. And it seems like you were the one who betrayed their feelings. Uh. Who exactly are you angry at? Your underlings for betraying you? Uh, I... Old man Magnus, looking down won't change anything. Learn from me, and then maybe you can change like I did. Shut your Rudy Boo candy ass mouth! Red Magnus didn't do anything wrong! He's not the one who has to change! Yeah, so that cutscene just further exemplifies why I, like, I hate Red Magnus. Like, he is just such a not good character. Like, he, he's a very well, like, I don't want to say he's not even, like, a good, he's not a good character. Let's go. He's just, like, not a character that I'm meant to like. Yeah. He, it's just... Everything about him Let's just go, annoys go, go. the living hell out of me. Yeah. Because he's just he's like a really large child. Here I go. And that that that's his thing. Huh. Like, oh yeah, like uh, I don't uh, nah, 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 nah. like I didn't do anything wrong. Like I was the one who was betrayed. And it's like uh, you are just so annoying. Like one, you're wrong, because you're an irresponsible like asshat. And then, like, you don't take blame, and then you just... Here I am. You are just ab you are the absolute worst, Red Magnus, and I don't like you. And I know I'm not, like, really supposed to like him at this point, like, I'm supposed to be like, okay, come on, Red Magnus. Like, obviously this is, like, your redemption arc, because every character so far, well, Zero, Zerokin, has gotten... Zoroka has gotten one. That's really it. But you can imagine, like, okay, every character's gonna have their like, okay, I'm coming to terms with all like my old shit, and I'm a better person at the end for it. But it's like, and I understand this is Red Magnus is because it's obviously it's his netherworld. So why would it be anyone else? But before this, he was just kind of a neutral character, that he was just like, in certain things, he had a simple goal. But then after they put him, like, on the podium to become better, it's just like, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Like, okay, so now I can show you Super Luminal Wolf, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's one of the, in my opinion, one of the cooler uh, skills. So, what it does is it actually makes four copies of it. Uh, and they're all, I believe, slightly weaker. Yeah, they're they're all brought down. Um, yeah, the shadows are all inherently weaker than him. They do have all his moves except for his squad moves. And if one levels up, they all level up, which is pretty nice, so you don't have to like worry about it. But because they are all weaker, um, if you, unless you're fighting like a weaker opponent, you usually need like two of them to take down someone. But of course, if you have a lot of them, you're able to, uh, well, when I say a lot, when you have just people enough. Um, Boink. Like, it's not like they're weak. They're st like they're just weaker than the OG, like the original one. Meow. And then I can just do this. Wipe these guys like off the face of the planet. Of course. 
because they're not item world level 81s, they're a bit stronger than other level 81s. Um, get him to come in here. Okay, body slam. Those guys are just weak to physical, so we go down pretty damn quick. Um, what am I going to do? Kill. You can do like cool kooky shit like this, where it's like, okay, cool. Zoroken's throwing himself around. <laughs> Boop. And that person moved down, so I don't need to worry about him. Um, there. Um, there. Yeah, yeah, body slam. Hellfire shot. Hellfire shot. Bullet. <laughs> I like to think that they're actually just shooting magic, because, you know, they they you, ne they, you never hear them talking about like, oh, we have to buy bullets or something. They just have them. So I like to think that it's like they're just shooting their own magic or like their own demon energy. Of course, that's all just personal like head cannon type stuff. Yeah. But it. Because you never see him reload. And of course, that's because, like, oh, sprite work. And like, why would you see him reload? Uh, yeah. And, like, my uh, health regen and whatnot is just so much. It's so strong. Like, I get so much health back that they even if they do damage, uh, like, on one of my main characters, they're not. Like, the damage doesn't stay enough. Okay, boop. Uh, yeah, let's just have him come down. Boop. Uh, yeah. Come up. And then... And then well, I'll have Peta give the final blow to this person. Because she needs XP. You. You. Oh, you. you! As you can see, like, ev if one of them levels, like, because they all share the same XP bar, and they're not gonna just make it so if, like, a, a shadow of Zero can kill someone, they don't get the XP. So it has begun. Demon General Bloodis. Red Magnus, the overlord of Scorching Flame, and the rebel army are coming this way. What would you like us to do? What do you want to do? Huh? Before asking me to give you orders, shouldn't you guys consider what you think you should be doing? Or are you affirming to me that you are incapable of doing anything unless I give you an order to do so? Absolutely not! We will take care of the rebel army ourselves! We should especially make sure that stupid overlord, Red Magnus, doesn't survive. He definitely deserves to die. Is that a personal grudge? Oh, no. It's because we were his underlings in the past and he made us go through him. Revenge, then. It must be fate. What? Take care of the rebel army. Go claim your revenge. You do know what'll happen if you fail, right? All of your powers will be absorbed. And you'll become space dust. Yes, sir. Understood. I, I do like how it's like, is that a personal grudge? No, it's just insert a very personal reason. Let's fix you. No, up. it's not personal at all. Okay. Like, I didn't even get to heal because it was just super, like, my curry was just that effective. So, let's save here. And I'm going to end the episode here, guys, and we will start with uh, this conversation next time. So, I will see you all in episode 25. I hope you all have a very nice day.